Lance Murray, the Toronto Sun, here at the Ford Performance Centre, day five of the Maple Leafs Development Camp. We talked to new coach of the Marlies, John Gruden, and several of the players that hope to uh, make an impression both later at main training camp and perhaps next year with the team. In this opportunity in the AHL in particular? I, 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 I just go back to the grassroots of uh, um, the time I spent with my son's teams, uh, the time I spent in Hamilton, and then fortunate enough to get an opportunity to coach under Barry Trotz and Jeff Montgomery. On the NHL, and it just it got me excited, um, you know, because it's an important um, time for these young kids uh, to get that development, which I believe is one of my strengths. And, and whoever we hire um, with that, um, our job is to try to make them better players. It's not just on ice work for the players; they're getting to see a little bit of Toronto on their off day. A bunch of players went up in the CN Tower, such as first-round draft pick Easton Cowan. Dylan, just seeing the city, uh, it was pretty cool, and you know, a bunch of the boys are scared, including. Me, so uh, it, was, it was a great time and uh, it's a pretty cool experience. Did you walk on the glass floor? Uh, I did. I wasn't planning on it, but the boys kind of made me, so uh, I, guess, I guess, yeah, I did. This is the second year for forward Fraser Minton, who was last year's first round draft pick, and he's one of the players who's made the jump, feels that he's ready to make a better impression as he gets to his second leaf training camp. in camp wrap up with a scrimmage game that's going to take place at the Ford Center and then it's on to a long summer of conditioning to get ready for training camp in the fall. From Ford Performance Center, Lance Hornby for the Toronto Sun.